We do have game two of this best of five in the Antec Attack final. I am SC2 England. My co-host today is co-commentator rather is Pewie, and this is, as I said, the Antec Attack tournament. We do have Thundertoss, who is cross six sleep as the orange Zerg in the top left position, and he will be playing against Empire's Cass, who is the green. Terran in the top right position. The map is Tordorim Altar. And if you haven't watched game one and you are a VOD viewer, go and check it out. If not, uh, my lovely co caster Puri will give you a rundown of what happened. Alright, so it was actually quite a fun game. Uh, we had a hatch first against from the Zerg, which is pretty much standard in this matchup. The uh, one, uh, sorry, a command center first into a one Rax CC. So it was one Rax and three command centers really early. Or yeah, two extra, um, and it turned into like this epic macro game, and a lot of base trade or a lot of bases being taken out, a lot of stuff going on, and eventually Sleep managed to pile the cars into the ground and take the victory. I mean, it's ultimately, a very close game. Sleep did a great job of expansion control. So did Cast, though. Don't get me wrong, Cast did a brilliant job of it as well, but ultimately, Sleep was able to get more bases down quicker and keep them up, which meant. At one point, Cass had only one mining base towards the end, compared to about three, fluctuating between two and four mining bases for sleep, which you just can't compete with. Oh, yes. Even now, with 11 mules. Yeah, even with 11 mules. <laughs> um, balance miners from the sky. Um, <laughs> anyway, we will see the Cass going for that one gas, one Rax build, but a 15 hatch out of sleep, and that's to be expected. Any Zerg player who doesn't 15 hatch against the Terran is a bit crazy or cheesing. Uh, it's just how it goes. Um, now, what's Cass really going to be playing with? Well, probably a Reactor Hellion build. More than likely, <coughs> excuse me, the timing of the gas makes it seem like it's going to be a a reactor Hellion build, and of course he's continuing to wall off his front. The, uh, the, the drone, drone is going to be irritating though. Yeah. And the SCV will lose that fight. Oh. Don't oh. run away, SCV! Oh. Run away! Run away! There we go. So the SCV does get away, but there's a marine, and the and marine the is going to is going to rescue that drone. Now the reason you do this um, extractor trick is basically because if you see that marine there, and it keeps shooting at it, it means that the Terran player isn't all in you or putting on a lot of pressure because ultimately if they were going to put on a lot of pressure they want every marine they've got and yes. especially once you see the second one as well you know exactly what is going on so that's just some useful bit of knowledge there for anyone who may wonder why Zergs do that or any Zergs who don't do that why well, you should but we will see the factory and reactor coming down there for Cass looking at um, sleep space he's got that one gas he's got the pool everything normal yeah, absolutely everything standard here. Command center's just been dropped for Kaz, and of course, the reactor in the factory will be finishing up. I just still can't soon. get over that. Like, seriously, sleep is just being so irritating with this extractor now. Just like, no, I'm building. No, I'm not. No, I'm building. Yeah. No, I'm not. And also, uh, the fact. Oh, the drone died. <laughs> <laughs> Game's <laughs> over now. You took it yeah. too far, sleep. You took it too far. <laughs> Use a little trick for you guys if you're wondering like what the best way is to deal with a gas deal and an opponent that always keeps retaking it. Um, you actually put your marines next to the gas, so the second it turns out of, into the drone, they should have enough time to snipe it before it uh, turns back into the gas. They should. It, they should. They That's should. what happened there, at least. Now we will see here that Sleep has left one drone in his gas. Um, that's just so he can like have it trickling in, so he'll get low at an appropriate time because speed always is, of course, on the way. But it still means he's getting a lot of drone production and a lot of mineral income, which he needs. Um, these Hellions are on their way out. Um, yeah. Not two on the field, just retaking yeah. map control. At, at the moment, Kaz actually hasn't scouted, so. That's what he's doing now. <laughs> he doesn't know where his opponent is. I mean, he 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 has a rough he, idea where they are. Yeah. Um, well, the Zerglin was at the top watchtower, so that's where his base is going to be. And we will see that the creep spread is again pretty damn good out of sleep. He mm. doesn't have those two dedicated creep queens though, which makes me sad because I want every Zerg player to do that now. He actually has. He only has one queen per base. I know. Strange enough. But he does have the Roach Warren in production, which is slightly earlier th than your standard timing, right? And he has three Yeah, it's, it's definitely now. quite early. Um, I mean, 
the uh, the only thing which really says a lot is that well, there's a tech lab coming down in this barracks, um, as well as the medevac coming out. Um, so the option Casa only has the one gas, so really he could be doing a heli and drop him, which would be effective. That's, that's what he's doing. Um, yeah, he is doing that now. Um, the only thing, the only downside to that is the roaches are out are out now. And to be honest, sleep he could be doing some kind of mass ling roach push. Like we saw. Okay, we got 22 zerglins. 22 zerglins in production, or slightly finished up. Stim is now in production as well. And we're gonna have a drop, this hellion drop, at exactly the same time as these roaches push out. And Aww. look at this, the hellions were pulled. I don't think they saw it quite yet, but the zerglings are just gonna get toasted. Um, yeah. But of course, this medevac can lift up the other four hellions up onto the high ground. So eight hellions in your base. Meanwhile, and he does. And he does, but Roaches and Zergling streaming into Cass's base, but, wow, and eight... Three Marines. Yeah, eight Hellions in your mineral line of your main are just going to get roasted. Everything is going to die. Like, so many drones oh, are going to get killed. Even the Zerglings are going to get vaped at this point. Oh, they're running. This queens guy's going to pick doing up a the good final job, three. though. I mean, seriously, those Queens the are game is called. GG. Well, the Hellions GG. didn't do enough, and there was Roaches coming in. So, yep. that is now 2-0 to... Check six sleep, um, and well.